take him a long time to get into your pants? Does he really have to prove himself to you before you give it up, or do you just get crazy right away? Well, it took us a long time to get together. Right. You got so together that first time. when we finally time. did get together. Was it good? It was great. He bangs you very good. Oh, yeah. Hard. When I like it hard. Yeah. Sometimes soft. <laughs> right. You like it hard and soft? I like the variation. A lot of people are excited that Stephanie McMahon, Stephanie McMahon of the WWF is coming in here today. Uh, Miss McMahon is not here yet. Well, then I What's think we got to... They called at 820, said there was some major problem on the West Side Highway, that they'd be here in 15 minutes, and well, they should I be thought... here any second. All right. Take a couple of phone calls, and then I, I think I got a bail on uh, Stephanie McMahon. That window is closing. She's yeah. a hot rich chick. What does there anything matter to her? If she had to earn money, she'd be here on time. Stephanie, what I'm going to have you do is literally... Sign a release as we're walking you into the studio. No problem. What's going on, Stephanie? There better not be any fine print. Not much. Sign right here. John, put up a note. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? What happened, Where do Steph? I sign? A little late today? Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't driving here. I'll hold that for you. Thank you very much. Can you print my name? Yeah, we'll take care of everything right. else. Okay. Um, yep. Follow me. Headphones on. Stay close to the mic. The guy that will be sitting to your right, Dave Chappelle, a comedian. Just so you're not Great. completely... I didn't see the back of the there's Stephanie. Oh, oh you're right. Yeah. We're about to cancel you, Stephanie. We're bad mouthing her. Oh, come on in. <laughs> Good to meet you. That's Dave Stephanie. Chappelle. Hey, Stephanie. Nice to see you. How you doing? Nice Take a seat, baby. Let's let's talk a little bit. Okay. Let's talk WWF. WWE. WWE. Right. We got to change that F to an E. WWE. How old are you now? Is that okay to ask? Yeah, I'm 26. Actually, I just had a birthday. Happy you're birthday. Happy birthday, Thank baby. You. You're 26 years old, and your dad is Vince McMahon. That's right. And I've been saying you are the catch of the century, <laughs> because any guy who marries you might as well back up the Brinks truck right into Vince McMahon's house. Are I've you actually single? heard you say that before. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not single. I'm actually uh, dating Triple H. Yeah, no, but you're not married. Is oh, no, no, no. I'm not married. Okay. Well, and what's the uh, deal? Like, you've always been involved with the WWE. I mean, you've always... Did you ever try to do anything else? Uh, Hell I no. I never wanted to do anything else, really. <laughs> Actually, I've worked for the company since I was about 12 in different ways. What did you do at 12? Which division did you run? <laughs> I was a receptionist. <laughs> Actually, for about two years. Is that right? Yeah. So your dad always brought up... You sort of brought you up to be in the family business, right? Well, my dad always wanted us to have a job, you know, and I really wanted to be in the family business. He and left it up to us. And you got what, two brothers? One brother. One brother. He's in the business, too. Yes. And I guess when your dad retires, you guys take over the mother load, right? Well, hopefully. That's the plan. <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't cut you out, would he? Oh, yeah, he could, you know. <laughs> is he a good dad? Is he, like, a nice guy to deal He's with? He's a great dad. He is. Yeah, and if very entertaining. And if you said he wasn't a great dad, would he disown you? No. Do you have your own house or do you live with your dad at his compound? No, I have my own house. And dating Triple H, we had China on the show. She's right. furious with you. Yeah. She said bad things about you. I'm sure she did. She said that uh, you stole her man and that Triple H now was going to be your bitch because <laughs> if, if, this is just me paraphrasing, right. if Triple H doesn't do what, you know, Stephanie McMahon wants him to do, that'll be the end of his career. So he has to mind his P's and Q's. Is any of that true? Um, well, I'm sure, certainly from her point of view, I'm I'm the bitch of the whole scenario. Because you stole her man. Right. But wasn't um, it easy to do because you look like a woman? Well, um, you know... You're not all just, muscular things just, and big? Things just sort of happened there, and, you know, there's always a lot of sides to every story. But, um, you know, definitely was a big deal for Triple H to date me because, in a way, she's right. I mean... Not that my father would necessarily fire someone for doing something to me, but I'm sure it would come into play. Like, if he cheated on me and I was heartbroken over it, I'm his daughter. He He'd get rid of Triple H. We wouldn't fire him, but, you know, it wouldn't be a good situation. You'd fire him. You'd, you'd find a way to get rid of him. You'd Why not? <laughs> Why not? And you change their storyline. You ruin him. You could ruin him. <laughs> yeah, you could ruin him. <laughs> you, you could. So you know. it's dangerous in a way for him to date you, isn't really, it? It was a big deal. It was a really hard decision for both of us to make, you know, more so for him, I think. Really? But you were so attracted to him because he's very muscular and manly. I just was attracted to him in every way. So you're going to marry now, him? was he with China? Was that sort of an attraction? Like, who? what kind of guy would be... Did you think he was a freak? Because China's very freaky looking. I actually have always thought that China was pretty incredible. Yeah, but not beautiful. 
I well, I do think she's beautiful, but I'm you know I grew up in a world of, of bodybuilding and. But wait and, a second! Don't you think a guy who goes out with like a, a she man? <laughs> don't you think that he's like a fetishist? I, I didn't. You didn't. I actually thought it was pretty cool that he didn't care what other people thought about her. I mean, he he really. I mean, he was in love with her. You know. So how did you? So he was in love with her, but how did you get Triple H away from China? Well, I mean, he was in love with her at one time. They were, you right. know, so, but by the time I came around, things weren't so good. Right. You know, from, from as I understand it. Yes. And but they were still living together. They were still living together, and, you know, there's a whole lot more detail that I'm not going to What happened? Go she wasn't into, putting out? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that I didn't even want to know. Yeah. But um, by the time, you know, Triple H and I started our on-screen storyline, we just sort of had great chemistry, and it just went from there. She bangs you very good. Oh, yeah. Hard. When I like it hard. Yeah. Sometimes soft. <laughs> right. How's it work growing up? Your dad was always a very wealthy man from the, you know, from wrestling. Actually, he wasn't always. Uh, from from my childhood, mostly he was, but from my brothers, he wasn't. Right. Actually, when my mother was pregnant with me, my dad had to take her to the courthouse, and their car broke down, and he was actually in a tow truck right. to go declare bankruptcy. Yes. So he he really is a self-made man, right. you know, and really made his fortune. But so so, how does it work though? Do you have to work? I mean, does your dad give you a salary? I do get a salary. Well, I'm also I'm not only on camera, I'm also behind the scenes. Right, I know. So you get a salary from the WWE? Yes. Okay. And when you were growing up, were you always like in the lap of luxury? Did your dad always give you everything you wanted? If I really, really wanted something, yeah. Did you go to private schools? I did. I went to Greenwich Country Day School. So that's a pretty good life. Yeah. Well, and then I went to Greenwich High Public School because I hated private school. Right. And then at any point, did you think you'd rebel and not be in the WWE? It really never, I mean, I thought about it once or twice. When I was younger, I thought maybe I wanted to be a choreographer because I used to love to dance. Right. But, you know, my knees actually got shot, so that shot that idea down. And I've always really loved our product. I just, I have a passion for it. I've, I've watched since I was three years old. You never know? wanted to rebel and become like a doctor or something? <laughs> <laughs> my mom almost became a doctor. Is that right? Yeah. So, and does it bother you when your father gives interviews and he says he cheated on your mom? Not anymore. It doesn't. I it, mean, it still is a little like, Dad, you know, okay, everybody knows now. You don't it, have to rub it in, but... Right. Were you angry with him? At first, yes. So you're the kind of father you can yell at, and he'll take it, and he'll absorb your anger? He would, but that's not my style. I see. So do you have any big fights with your father? I have had some. But you got to be careful. You don't want him to disown you. <laughs> he is the mother load, so to speak. I've got my own money. You do? Where did yeah. you get money from? Yeah, where did you get money? <laughs> well, I've been working for a while, and, you know, I'm, I save. So you write some of the scripts? Yep, I help write. Okay. And you also wrestle? Yep, I have wrestled. Okay. My well, character is not really a, a wrestler per se, but right. I have wrestled. But when you say you write some of the storylines, who is in that meeting? Is it you and Vince and Shane? And a team of writers. No. Yeah? Oh. Sh Shane was at one time part of the creative process, and now he's uh, he's been more involved in the business side. Mm -hmm. All right, so then you write the storyline for you and Triple H. And oh, I wasn't writing at that point. Okay, so you start working with them. Right. All right. And then what does he, how does he put the moves on the boss's daughter? Does he begin to say, listen, I'm having feelings for you? Or he does was he very just... flirtatious. He was? Yeah. He said, I'm attracted to you. No, he he would drop hints, you know, and I sort of wondered, like, is he hitting on me? And right. then I, I thought, no, it can't be. He's just, you know, having What would he fun. say to you? We'd like to know how Triple H makes the move. Um, I don't know. Well, th our storyline was, you know, that we were married and we took over this the, the business and drove my dad out. And so, like, I would be sitting on his lap and things like that. And yeah. He'd just say things. Would he pop a rod when yeah. you uh, sat on the no, no. hand up your <laughs> well, I didn't feel anything if he did. <laughs> he, probably, he probably got a little aroused. Right, and one time when, uh, when I was standing around the ring, he, he, he sort of crawled around me. He was you know, on the floor, and he felt my leg. And I he was did. like, that's definitely flirtation there. That's not part of the script. <laughs> yeah, that was not. And you found yourself getting attracted to him. Yes, I did. You didn't mind that he touched your leg. No, I liked it a lot. Did you say, stop touching my leg, or did you say, I like you touching my leg? I just blush like I am now, pretty much. So many women, uh, sometimes when they like a guy, will begin to touch a man. They like touch his chest when she talks to him, or maybe, you know, well, put her hand very, on his back. It was a very touchy situation. You know, yeah. if he was coming on to me, and I know 
know that it's forbidden in our business for me to date any of the wrestlers. Is so, it? Yeah. So Did, it didn't you like, read the bylaws? Oh. <laughs> so how does it become a romance? It's very complicated. He's dating another wrestler. You, were you dating another wrestler? No, no I was you. dating somebody outside. Okay. So he's dating China, who's a big star at that point. Right, which supposedly they weren't dating at that point. Okay. They, they had a house together and were trying to get out of the house or whatever. It was you a bought that. Okay. Very, well, I mean, I <laughs> did for a while, and then I didn't, and then we stopped. We, we saw each other for a couple months, and then when it came apparent to me that, that well, obviously, she's still living in your house. Something's going on. Uh-huh. We stopped talking for, for a long time. I don't see anything wrong with the fact that they're not married. They both fell for each other. Well, What's, yeah, but does she have to ask her father permission because it's you know it's against the rules? Well, did you go to Vince and say, listen, I need the rules broken here? Well, he could see. He what saw was what was going on. Yeah. Vince is no dummy. No. That I know. So, so he sees you messing around with another and wrestler. And he gave us the okay, and then he took it away. He took away the okay? Yeah. Why? Because it was just, you know, if we really were going to be together, it would have to be a big deal. It would have to be the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. And so he let us come together, and then he made us be apart, and we came back together again. And if it was meant to be, you know, it was meant to be. You mean, you're talking about in real life. Yeah. yeah. Your father said you can be together, and then said stop being together, yep. and you stopped. Yep. Wow. Has Triple H tried to give you anal? Wait, hang on. Is this noise, is this the farting or the queefing? That's farting. <laughs> You want to hear what China had to say on the show? Well, no, but I guess I'm going to hear it anyway. Yeah, hear it anyway. Here we go. Is it hard for you going to work and seeing the two of them in love and uh, you had to be there around them? You know what, Howard? It broke my heart every day. It was like a dagger in my stomach. Are you mad at, at Stephanie McMahon for doing that to you? You know, I think that she had a real opportunity to come into a billion dollar company and as a woman, you know, gain some real respect and do something good in this male-dominated world. And um, she really disappointed me as, as, as a woman, you know, with that type of unprofessional behavior. If he's able to marry Stephanie McMahon, she's, a, she's in a billionaire family. I mean, Vince yeah, is a billionaire. Yeah, but you think he's sitting pretty, Howard? Is he not? Well, I don't know. If I were, you know, none of those other guys have got, ever gone there because once he roped yourself into that family... You know, that's that's a 24-hour job for him now, so be very careful what you wish for. So you're saying that if for any reason he pisses Stephanie off in real life, that's the end of his wrestling career. He's going to be Mr. Kiss-Ass from now on. Wow. Ha, ha, ha. There it is. Ha, 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 she says. What do you think of that? Oh, I, she, I mean, she was just telling you how she felt. Wow. You won't badmouth her. I have no reason to. You have the man. So uh, who needs to even get into it? <laughs> Would you fight her? Would I fight her? Yes. If she picked the fight with me, sure. You would. You think you could take China? I didn't say I think I could take her. <laughs> but after that, Joey she bought came a at me. Fight. Right. If yeah, she came I at me, I'd I have to defend it. myself. <laughs> yeah, you would defend yourself in a fight. <laughs> Let's take a couple of phone calls. Tom, you're on the air. Yeah, how are you? Yes. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, Stephanie, big fan. Huge fan of WWE for a long time. I would like to thank Stephanie Howard for, on two different occasions, once on Raw and once on SmackDown, oh, for boy. gracing us the national audience with the sight of her beautiful breasts. You know, your breasts... You've been topless? Thank you very your, much. Your breasts popped out. Oh, you're welcome. Your breasts popped out during events. They float around the internet completely uncensored. Now, so when, now, now, when that happens, is that really an accident or you plan that out? <laughs> it was really an accident. It really was. Was yeah. your dad mad that your nip was well, uh, no. showing? I mean, I was horrified, actually. Because, yeah. I mean, if I had planned to do something like that, that's one thing. But when it sort of happens and you're not planning on it, it's a little unnerving. Somebody said uh, somewhere that you're open about the fact that you had breast implants. Yes. That you got them because when you were wrestling, you got to see your body a lot on TV and you weren't happy with your body. Right. Well, I lost a lot of weight. I, I had boobs, you know, when I was heavier. And right. then I lost a lot of weight and they were like, melted packets of butter and right. I just didn't like the way they looked. Melted packets of butter. Yeah, <laughs> actually it's not mine. A friend That's of mine not. told me that one, but I thought it was accurate. Double A, go ahead. Hey, what's going on, Howard? Hey, uh, Stephanie, I want to ask you a question. The real reason why Stone Cold left is because you used uh, a strap-on on him and he was, like, uh, embarrassed. Did you use I, I a strap-on on, on uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin? I, I don't know what Steve's into off-camera, uh, right. but certainly we did not use a strap-on. You never got into bed with him and used a strap-on? I, I didn't. No. You know? All right. Let's go to Johnny. Johnny, go ahead. You're on with Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie McMahon, how you doing? I'm good. How are you, Johnny? I'm all right. Listen, does the name Paul ring a bell at all to you? Paul? Why would that ring a bell to her? Now, 
A buddy of mine, Paul, used to sleep with Stephanie and said that she loved to be tied up and loved anal. Big time. <laughs> Stephanie, that's a, that's a heavy accusation. It uh, is. Even Dave Chappelle is shocked, and he's done it all. Wow. <laughs> that's, all I Howard, say. that's the truth, man. A, a good buddy of mine. I wish, what girl I doesn't no like lies, that? Howard. Is it true you like anal? Oh, love it. You do? Can't get enough. All right, so this guy's... Uh, no, so no, no. I, I, You know, I'm open to try anything, really, but... Has Triple H tried to give you anal? Um, he, I'm sure he'd like to. He'd like to, but uh, you won't go there. I, I probably will at some point. If Triple H got you hot enough, you would go there. So you're saying Triple H is that Robin explains to me that women will only do anal when they're very, very hot. Wait, hang on. Is this noise, is this the farting or the queefing? That's farting. Howard, I'm telling you that's 100% true, Howard. So according to your buddy. So like you that. have tried do anal with like a guy named Paul? No, uh, Triple H is actually the first Paul I've ever dated. That's how I know that's not true. Okay. And what about being tied up in bed? Do you yeah. like bondage? Um, Only tried it one time, and actually it was like completely unsuccessful. I'm sure if it was done the right way, maybe I would like it. All but right. Okay. I had done it. Howard, still did what? You're me I'm full of nonsense. I'm, she's she's saying that you're not telling the truth. She never dated another guy, Paul. I, what can Maybe I tell you? Maybe your buddy's brave. No, I, hey, hey, listen. I understand. I know. I understand. I know how it goes. I Down have the here, feeling she has understand. experimented. I understand. I feel she, no, listen, I feel she's experimented with anal. I think she's being honest. Experimented. Have you experimented with it at all? I would be willing to. You would be willing to experiment. She's saying she'd be willing to experiment. Howard, what do you think the chances of me coming down to the studio and getting a shot at anal with her? Is right that, now? Is that at all in the work? Right now, yes, absolutely. Very good. Uh, I'm sure she'd dump Triple H for you. Everything's yeah. in play. Triple H well, let me ask the question. Would you give this guy anal if he came down to is the studio? Is there a shot? Would I give him anal? Yes. I don't know. Well, I still got the strap on I used on Steve Austin, so She'd yeah. give you anal. <laughs> Give me ain't a yeah. wait a minute. How? <laughs> Hold on, man. Are you totally fair? Uh, I yeah. think you are. You are. You have no hair down there. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. This is the thing I don't understand. So you and Triple H fall in love. Does it take him a long time to get into your pants? Does he really have to prove himself to you before you give it up? Or do you just... Get crazy right away. Well, it took us a long time to get together. Right. You got so together that first time. when we finally time. did get together. Was it good? It was great. He bangs you very good. Oh, yeah. Hard. When I like it hard. Yeah. Sometimes soft. <laughs> right. You like it hard and soft? I like the variation. You do? Yeah. You got to mix it up. You Is he the best be. sex you ever had? Definitely. Ever had sex with a woman? Um, I've not had sex with a woman, but I've had a woman come on to me before. Actually, at our last pay-per-view, I almost had HLA. What's that? Hot lesbian action. Oh, really? really? Yep. See, my guys <laughs> lost a match, <laughs> and I lost the bet, so I was in the ring, and these two hot chicks, one was in front of me, one was behind me. Actually, one of them does that Playboy night show, right. that night call show. Yes. So, uh, you know, they were starting to kiss me and rubbing my arms and rubbing my legs mm. and, you know, Did all you like that it? kind of stuff. Yeah, I kind of liked it. Do you ever go to strip clubs? Yeah, I've been to a strip club. You ever think about, like, maybe getting on with another chick and bringing a chick home to Triple H? I'm sure he'd love that, but I don't know if I could handle seeing him. With another girl. Right. What about you and her getting on, and he just watches, sits in the corner, and maybe pleasures himself? I think this is a chick <laughs> thing, but yeah. to me, it's like, then he's getting off on her, too. I mean, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll get there one day. I'm just not there right now. Triple H shave his legs? Uh, yeah, he shaves his body. Do you, wa you watch him shave his body? Do Give you him. have to help him? Is it a ritual? I, I don't have to help him. He's actually pretty good at it. But. He doesn't shave his pubes, does he? Oh. Uh, no, but he's, he's uh, blonde, you know, right? he's groomed. He trims him down. Yeah. Are you totally shaved? Uh, I yeah. think you are. You are. Yeah. You have no hair down there. No. I knew it. I knew it. Except, you know, when I've gone a couple days. And right. I love that do look. Do you wax or do you, uh... No, I don't wax. I hate <laughs> waxing. I tried waxing. It's very painful. Dave Chappelle, your wife totally shaved? <laughs> no, that's a secret, man. <laughs> secret. <laughs> oh, man. That's what, what, what? a secret. Well, what, what do you think? What do you think? Someone's going to find out and something's going to happen? No, man, I can't be talking about uh, my... Let us tell you what it is, because we know. My, my, son, my son came out of there. I can't be talking about <laughs> All right. Well, get all difficult. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Mm. I mean, she, I'm a, she might freak out. I, I got to live with this woman. I can't be talking about <laughs> her vagina on the radio. I'm talking about myself. It's home. okay, right? Yeah, yeah, but, well, it's different. I mean, you got billions of dollars, you know, man, whatever, whatever. <laughs> you here, you can just say, hey, I got Well, his wife is Asian. She's probably hairless anyway. I mean, yeah, but, I mean, no, she's saying she got hairless vagina. It's easy for her to say. She's here to say it. <laughs> yeah, right. You got to get but your wife here. But if your wife were here and, he, and yeah, she, she could said admit it, it, then it's fine. But, yeah, if she said it, that's on her. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Triple H was on the radio. Hey, I ain't got no hair on my
Clear my ass fast. We'll be talking about himself. Yeah. We Triple H has no hair on his balls. No, I didn't. No, I'm saying if he's. But does but is that true? Uh, you know, I'm not. I, do? I don't think he's particularly. Does, does he uh, nair or? Uh? Nair. No, I don't think he does anything. There's no here. way I just to don't think there's a lot of. When you run your hands over his chest, do you feel the stubble and stuff? He doesn't have a lot of hair to begin with. I see. But, I see. You know, I sort of I I like chest hair. So, but he doesn't have any. All right. So you two have. But never I, had... not that I don't like him. You know the way he is. Right. And uh, Triple H and you have sex what three times a week? Well, when we see each other. Right. Um. That much. Well, you know, I don't even count. You seem very lovely. Oh, thank you. And uh, believe me, you're a catch of the century. Absolutely. Believe I don't me. think you should marry so easily. I think you should make him work hard. Well, right. we're nowhere near that, so. <laughs> right. What kind of panties do you wear, Thong? Yeah. All right. All right. You know, she's really down to earth. I got to say I'm impressed by this. Yes, me too. For a billionaire, she's really down yeah, yeah, I've never met somebody. you got to qualify it, right, Rob? <laughs> somebody rich is down to earth and <laughs> yeah, like, talks about shaving yeah, and yeah, panties. You know I mean? and she's very articulate for someone who went to the Greenwich Private School. <laughs> Did you go yeah. with famous kids to the Greenwich Private School? Greenwich Country Day. I don't really Day. remember any famous kids, except they all looked down on me because I was wrestling. Oh, you know? well. I was going to say, is that a little problem, you know, that like, uh, you're looked down upon because of where your money comes from? It just makes me, you know, Who want cares? to fight, really. Money's money. Yeah. Well, really? yeah, but the, we got the, our billions, honestly. Yeah, the, <laughs> the really yeah, wealthy who, don't, who never had to work and don't know where their money came from. All right, there <laughs> it is. Great meeting you, Stephanie. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you very much, John. Bye-bye. Stephanie, how did, how did everything go? It went great. What's your opinion of Howard now that you've met us? You know, I think Howard's great. I always have, actually. Yeah, I've always listened to the show, you know, especially during the whole media blitz when he was doing the movie and his book came out and everything. You know, I paid a lot of attention, and he just, he always seemed like a great guy. Did your father or anybody give you any warnings about coming on the show? No. My dad just told me to have fun. You know, and that's what I did. All right, and did you have fun? I had a great time. All right, so you'll come back and see us? I would love to. Cool, thanks. <laughs> 